Welcome to Rosemo Bro Goat Farm. We are farming commercial bro goats and we are farming out of Khabane. Khabane is 15 kilometers away from the city. We are literally, literally uh, are farming only commercial goats and of lately we have introduced uh, our Kalaharis as well as a start in bro goat farming. So our endeavor and our future plans is to produce quality, quality bro goats. So we are learning at the moment, so come with us and learn with us. Well, uh, today's topic, very interesting topic. Wow, our wow, wow, local chickens. Today's topic is natural synchronization. So natural synchronization means, you know, you are going to be confining your animals into one place and giving them a bark so that they give birth at the same time. Okay, you should also understand that there is two synchronizations that happens in goat farming. I'm not talking about oestras or estras synchronization, where you insert the sponge in the butt or in the vagina of, of a goat. I am talking about naturally doing it, natural synchronization. So natural synchronization is when we take all our females, all our females, we introduce the bark at the same time. And we make sure that all our animals are on heat at the same time. So should all the animals be on heat earlier than anticipated time, we don't introduce the bug to them. We let them pass because they always uh, come back on heat between 18 to 21 days. So we keep all animals uh, under one kraal and then once we have kept them under one kraal, we're going to be introducing them to one bug. And today, voila, we have kids uh, from this wonderful wonderful uh, bro goats and uh, we have done we are actually testing ourselves to do natural synchronization if they can give birth within the same week or the same month or the same two weeks okay so i'm going to tell you ag ag uh, about the advantages of doing natural synchronization uh, number one advantage of doing natural synchronization you your goats are going to give birth at the same time and we all know that when they give birth at the same time, you have reduced a lot of work for the whole year. Other than when five give birth uh, uh, every now and then, every month you are, your, your guys at the farm that are working hard, that are taking good care of the, go, the kids. The whole year you have kids at the kraal. So number two reason why we do natural, natural synchronization is that uh, your goats, uh, taking care of the kids at, at the farm happens once, okay? So at Rosemo Goat Farm, we have three, three uh, uh, breeding sessions, okay? Our first animals, they give birth in May. Uh, th those are the kids that you, you, always, you have always seen. They are now big. They are going to reach market weight in December. And then we wait until, because winter uh, in Africa is in starting from May, June, July, and then August. August, we are now going into spring. So, uh, and then now, these ones are now giving birth. Then we have another set that is going to give birth uh, in January. Okay, we are, we are doing so, so that when you work your goats or when you work with your kids, you take good care of them once and for all. You don't need to always uh, 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 take care of kids throughout the year. And taking good care of kids means you are going to be buying your ovimin, you are going to be drenching them, you are going to... So medication happens once, okay?
So number three, uh, like I said, medication administration or inoculation happens once, okay? So your calcijac, your bicolic, your, your ovimine, as well as your electro guard on kids happens once, okay? So you know, our kids have been born in August. We know that we have to prepare lamb prep for them. We have budgeted for that. Budgeting happens and it's easier to budget for them because you know for sure in August, I'm, I'm expecting kids. So your budget for medication as well as your budget for, for, for your, the feed and everything that the kids need in order to survive, it's sorted, sorted. The next reason, you know, your kids now are going to reach market weight at the same time, okay? So which means there is a possibility of you going into the market to sell the bugs at the same time, therefore bringing more money. Unlike when you have kids every month until the year ends, uh, what happens is that uh, you will never ha have an opportunity to sell bugs uh, the at the same time and have more money. So when you have natural synchronization, you're going to sell the kids at the same time and then you're going to make more money at the same time. If you are maybe going to an auction to sell at the auction, it means now you can now target your auction dates and you are going to take all those kids when they meet the market weight, you are going to sell them at the auction at the same time. So natural, uh, uh, natural synchronization is the best, okay? Of course there is oysters and estras as well as uh, your artificial insemination. Uh, I'm not yet there, I'm not yet there, so for now I am practicing uh, uh, natural synchronization, okay? So, the last point also is that your goats, when they give birth, you can always work your dates backwards so that they don't give birth during winter. You, we all know that winter and December are terrible, they are terrible months to do, uh, 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 to have kids on them, okay? Number one is that uh, winter, it's quite, our winter here is quite terrible. It's quite extra, extra cold. The, the air is dry and super cold. So when goats give birth in winter, there is likelihood that your kids are not going to survive because you have to provide a heater. You are going to take extra care of them. And sometimes the kids, once they have survived the winter, they are now started to grow. So when you do natural synchronization, you can take, uh, you can calculate the months so that when you introduce the bug, you're going to introduce the bug and they give birth uh, after winter. We are in August now. August is a month now later after our winter. At least even though it's cold today, it's not that cold like when it's winter. So all in all, I like natural synchronization. I don't like farming like our old grandfathers, whereby every day a bug is running with, with your goats. When a buck is usually running with your goats every day, it means every now and then when a goat circles up, when a, a goat is in heat, a buck is going to mount it. And when a buck mounts it, it means you are going to always have kids every day, every week, every month. And taking good care of them, it's a lot of stress and it's a headache. So the best way is to take care of them at once. And they reach the market weight at once. You sell them at once. So it's a beautiful thing. I think uh, I will always recommend natural synchronization on kids. So today we have mothers. These mothers have given me beautiful kids. I can't complain. Uh, you can see some of them are there and our Kalahari Reds also has given birth to a big ram. I thought that ram was going to, it was carrying two. That is the mother. I thought that mother was carrying two kids, but it happened that uh, uh, it gave us to one ram and it, it, uh, we don't scan our goats. We don't have the facility to scan our goats and we always want, don't want to uh, call our vets or bush vets to come and scan our goats because we like the surprises. We like the surprises. Whenever they give birth, we are always surprised. So this is the result. Uh, in the next coming weeks also, before, in the next week also before the month ends, some of the, uh, uh, our pregnant females are going to be joining this one. And we are the last, last uh, goes to give birth, it's in November, and then we have the January one. December, we miss it because, guys, we have Temba here. Temba is our worker here. 
she ne he needs to go out and have Christmas in December. We don't want to be taking care of the kids in December. And also I like to go on holidays. We usually go with my family outside the country or we travel the, within the country. So we, we don't like taking extra, extra care or having a lot of work during the lambing season. So we always avoid December by all means. So here we are. I hope uh, I have helped you guys. I hope you will begin to love our YouTube channel. If you are new to it, make sure that you subscribe. We are Rose Mobuo Gold for a, fam for a reason. We call you family because you have subscribed to us. We are who we are because of you. And we love you guys. Let's become bigger and better because we love farming. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.